How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back to yet another review. And, uh, yeah, it is Imperial Coffee time in the form of Pizza Boy Brings, Sunny Side Up. Um, never had this before. Heard a lot of good things about it from a couple friends of mine. Um, and this bottle is courtesy of a buddy of mine, um, Ryan. Uh, Lou Brew on YouTube does homebrew stuff, starting to get in a little review game. So uh, definitely head over to his channel, subscribe, and check his stuff out. Um, Brew Photo on Instagram. And uh, he uh, went down there and picked me up a growler, a canned growler of this. Uh, the seal went a little bit wonky, so he had to drink it when he got home and decided to be extra nice and give me one of his bottles. So thank you, Ryan. Um, so yeah, super excited to give it a whirl. I love Staps, I love coffee. I love coffee stout, so there you go. Uh, as far as what it says in the bottle, sunny side up, coffee stout, malt beverage uh, with coffee added, Beats Boy Brewing Company, um, Little Amps Coffee Roasters, must be where they get the coffee from, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty simple to the point, live-wise, it's pretty cool, I dig it. Um, Pizza Boy stuff, limited bottle stuff, usually have to get it in-house. Just starting to do a little bit of distribution, and most of their stuff is by uh, can growlers, so it's kind of cool to get a uh, bottle from them that actually has a label on it. So I dig it. So let's see what this sucker has to offer. Heard some good things, so we're gonna find out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, nice color to it. Not the darkest in the world, but nice color to it. Yeah. And, ooh, I did miss one thing on here, which is a 9.5% alcohol by volume. So, that's just ABV. Uh, finger and a half full of decent head, just above khaki colored. Pretty uniform bubbles from bottom to top, pretty tiny, decently creamy top to it. Color-wise, like I said, you can glean a little bit of color through it, especially on the bottom here. Um, but other than that, I mean, looks like a sale. You know? So, let's see what this sucker has to offer in the nose. Really big coffee but a very sweet coffee um sweet malts a little bit of roast and uh, definitely some chocolate going on there it's a very sweet coffee almost like a chocolate macchiato kind of deal going on there not like an actual like just like a coffee coffee just big sweet you know almost like it's a sweet stout like a milk stout as opposed to just a regular imperial stout it smells absolutely fabulous. The coffee doesn't really sense much much bitterness in the nose. It's pretty pure, clean coffee. Nice roast to it, like I said, and there's definitely some chocolate involved. So, hey, it looks the part. It smells delicious. Cheers. That's a good beer. That's a good beer. Um, first thing you get right off the right off the bat. It's a nice mixture of that coffee and chocolate. It's pretty big, actually. Chocolate probably a little bit bigger than the coffee for me. Once it gets about halfway through, definitely getting a bit more coffee and a little bit of roast. And then it kind of just finishes with a lingering, dark, roasted coffee. Ever so slightest bitterness. Super bitter. They're super subtle bitterness, not super bitterness. Um, and then that's pretty much it. it. It sticks around for a bit, that coffee. It's kind of nice. Um, very clean. A little bit on the uh, finish side. A um, little bit medium. Um, less than medium. Almost like a uh, Imperial Porter as opposed to Imperial Stout. Eh, kind of splitting hairs there, but wish it had just a scoosh more density to it. Um, a nice fluffiness to it. Um, yeah, nice little bit of carbonation, little effervescence going on there. Um, yeah, it's a pretty damn good beer. Zero booze whatsoever. You know, 9.5%. Not the biggest beer, but it's not tiny by any means. Decent legs on her, you know. It's absolutely beautifully made. Um, coffee stout. Um, super delicious. Really, like I said, if I was going to kind of split hairs there, it would just be mouthfeel and that tinge of bitterness on the end. And it's very subtle, but at, you know, at that point, I'm kind of just splitting hairs. Um, 
really nice coffee stout. One of the better ones I've had as of late. Um, rating wise, I would give it a 91. Um, really nice beer. Done really well. Um, the coffee's there is nice. The subtle roast malt's nice. Decent amount of chocolate, which I like to have in my coffee. It's just, you know, just needs a little bit more body to it for me. And it would take it next level, but 91 is not a score. Excuse me, a score to um, blink at. Value and availability. Pizza Boy stuff is very limited. Um, it's usually in-house and minor distribution. So in my area, you can get it if you want to take a trip about an hour and a half away. Um, other than that, I'm just going to give it an availability of a three. Um, again, your mileage may vary, especially out of the state. Um, value and avail value. Um, I don't know what Ryan paid for this bottle. Um, if uh, I'll we'll inquire and ask him, and I will post it in the information below. Um, I'm guessing uh, ten to twelve bucks. That's my guess. I could be wrong, but if it's at ten to twelve bucks, I'll give it an eight nine on a value scale. If it's more, we'll judge accordingly or adjust accordingly. So there you go. I mean, Pizza Boy's Sunny Side Up, uh, brewed with little, little Amps. What's it? Yeah, Little Amps Coffee. Really nice offering. <coughs> Making me sneeze. There's no pepper in there. Um, but uh, yeah, really nice co uh, coffee stout, Imperial Coffee Stout. Done really well. Super clean. Really need splitting hairs to even find anything wrong with it. So yeah, that's another review in the books. Um, you should pick this up if you like what? If you like coffee stouts, duh. Um, if you like a nice, well-balanced, and it's I didn't say that yet, probably a nice balance between all the notes in there, whether it be that subtle roast and the coffee itself and the chocolate. If you like a well-balanced coffee stout, nothing too in your face. Not a big fan of bitterness in your coffee. Like I said, there's a tinge of bitterness at the end, but it's... It's not big enough to really even, like, be off-putting. Um, and if you just like good beer. And if you like uh, an up-and-coming brewery. I mean, Pizza Boy is doing some pretty good stuff. Um, from what I've had from them so far, which is limited, probably about five or six different beers, I've really enjoyed all of them. So, you know, Terry down there is doing a great job. So if you're into good beer, definitely give it a whirl. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. If you did or didn't, somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I'm tapped. Massive beers in all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying a nice coffee stat right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.